I was six, loved bugs, cake, and digging in my garden. My days were filled with adventures, exploring every inch of the backyard. I would spend hours observing the tiny creatures that lived in the soil, and nothing made me happier than a slice of cake after a long day of play. One sunny morning, the ground felt wobbly under my boots. It was a strange sensation, almost like the earth was alive and moving beneath me. I had never felt anything like it before. Curious, I poked it with my spade, and the earth opened up. It was as if the ground was revealing a hidden secret just for me. A small round hole appeared, inviting like a secret doorway. It looked mysterious and exciting, like the entrance to a hidden world waiting to be explored. I slid down a smooth, earthy slide, landing with a soft bump. The slide was surprisingly comfortable, and I felt like I was on a thrilling ride. I found myself in a giant cave made of rock, the Earth's crust. It was vast and awe-inspiring, with walls that seemed to stretch endlessly. It's like the skin on an apple, the part we all live on. This outer layer protects everything beneath it, just like the skin of an apple protects its juicy insides. I could see shapes of mountains and oceans above. It was like looking at a map from below, with all the familiar shapes in a new perspective. The crust is made of hard, solid rock, some thick. Some thin. Each layer told a story of the Earth's history, with different textures and colors. I was amazed to be inside the Earth's skin. It was a magical experience, like stepping into a storybook world. Jack discovered the Earth's crust, the outermost layer we live on, like the skin on an apple made of hard rock. This layer is what we walk on every day, often without even thinking about it. It was an incredible discovery for a curious six-year-old. Jack's adventure showed him that even the ground beneath our feet holds amazing secrets, waiting to be uncovered. I noticed another glowing opening, beckoning me deeper into the earth. I wiggled through, feeling the air get toasty and the walls closing in around me. I landed in a warmer place, the mantle, where the air was thick with heat. It's the layer right under the Earth's crust, super thick and incredibly vast. The mantle is made of rock, but it's so hot some of it is melty, almost like molten lava, like gooey honey. Moving very slowly, it flows beneath the surface. This slow dance can push the crust to make mountains and volcanoes, shaping the landscape. I giggled, thinking it was like a giant, slow-moving river of rock, endlessly flowing. Jack ventured into the mantle, a thick layer of special rock, hot and melty, playing a crucial role in shaping the Earth's surface constantly in motion. I spotted another bright tunnel. I zipped down into the outer core, a place of hot liquid metal. It was like a giant ocean of melted iron and nickel. The swirling metal creates a giant magnetic field, an invisible shield. I imagined I was a little submarine in this metal ocean. Jack reached the outer core, a layer of hot liquid metal creating a magnetic field that protects the Earth. He marveled at the beauty and importance of this layer. I saw the brightest tunnel leading to the Earth's center. It was like a glowing pathway, inviting me to explore the mysteries below. I zoomed down to the inner core. A giant, solid ball of metal. It felt like I was diving into the heart of the planet itself. It's incredibly dense and as hot as the sun's surface. The heat was intense, almost unimaginable, like standing next to a star. I marveled at the solid, glowing heart of the planet. It was a sight to behold, something I never thought I would see. Then, with a whoosh, I was lifted back up through all the layers. It was like riding an express elevator from the depths of the earth to the surface. I popped back into my garden, the wobbly spot gone. Everything was calm and peaceful, as if nothing had happened. I ran inside to tell my teddy bear Barnaby about my adventure. I couldn't wait to share every detail of my incredible journey. Jack reached the inner core, 
the Earth's solid hot center, and returned to his garden, eager to share his incredible journey. His adventure was something he would never forget.